All right, guys, I know I'm really late with this review, but here's my review of AOKP Jelly Bean Build 2 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus and also the uh, Nexus 7 because they're basically the same exact ROM. So this is going to be a two-in-one review because I'm not going to make two videos of the same exact ROM. Um, I'll, I'll point out the differences, of course, but... Let's go down to About Phone, and as you see, we're running Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, and of course, we're running AOKP, which is uh, their JB Build 2. Of course, this is the Maguro, which is a GSM Galaxy Nexus, in case you guys didn't know, and this is Grouper, which is the Nexus 7. I couldn't even think of it. Um, I, I moved my desk around because I have my computer over there now. It's next to me to my left. So you're going to notice some differences. But let's jump right into ROM control. I'm going to go through like some of the changes from JB Build 1 that I think are pretty awesome. Of course, you still have your uh, custom boot animations, your carrier labels. You can change the background in your notification drawer. As you see, I left mine as default. You can have a kill all button. So when you hit recent apps, you have a kill all button. Um, 180 degrees rotation is of course when you turn your phone upside down. Forcing the tablet UI. Um, I don't really recommend this on say your Galaxy Nexus. I mean you can of course if you want to. But I'll show you guys what it looks like on the Nexus 7. So as you see, it's got the... Uh, status bar down here in the bottom right which I think is pretty awesome especially since the Nexus 7 doesn't come in a full tablet UI it comes in the not sure what Google calls it actually but it comes with their stock whatever they called it um, and it, then you have your recent apps your home and your back over here so this is the tablet UI and of course when you go into settings Everything is like a dual panel. So let's go back to the phone. But when you turn on uh, tablet UI, it's just basically a tablet. So I mean, that's what the Nexus 7 is, but it comes in like the t phone UI kind of thing. Um, on lock screen, you can, of course, have your battery percentage, custom wallpapers, music controls. You can have stock music layout, your weather, calendar, and your quick pin unlock. I'll show you guys the lock screen. Here's the lock screen. You can see I have my battery percentage, the weather. There are no custom there are no custom um, lock ring targets yet. So that's one thing to note. And of course your power menu is when you press and hold the power button. And this pops up. You can have screenshot, airplane toggle, and uh, navigation toggle. Um, navigation bar of course you still have your where you can change all the buttons and layouts now you can have up to seven of course I still have my four you can change the buttons to whichever ones you want or custom apps one thing that's new is when you press and hold home instead of just Google now you also have shortcuts to other apps which I have plume for Twitter and camera because in case I'm in an app and I need to take a picture really quick so and also you can change your heights and stuff like that but here's where you change that the navigation bar ring targets that is this so you can go to camera and twitter i have that you can have any targets you want and you can have up to five i only have three though because five it kind of goes way out and it looks kind of weird um battery you can still have your different battery mods which include the uh text icon circle mods stuff like that your battery bar color and stuff of course your clock is still the same as every other AOKP build you can have the center clock right clock or no clock AM PM of course I have mine as small and then day of the week I have mine as small also um, let's go to toggles you still have the same toggles as an AOKP jelly bean build one so no differences there we're gonna go cancel you still have the same two layouts. Um, you can change the toggle style like text or, or icon and also brightness location. 
they used to have bright brightness location underneath the uh, uh, toggles. So you can put it on top of the toggles or underneath or just don't show it at all. And signal, you can have text to signal and stuff like that. I don't mess with that because I don't really get it. Um, and then under LED, something that's new besides changing the blinking color for like a specific app and stuff like that. And also the delayed time that it blinks, the brightness of it. So you can have it. I have mine laser beam. I should probably change that because it kills my battery a lot. Um, you can have LED flash while screen is on and enable LED while charging. Which if you know the LG Ally or any other phone. Say the Droid Incredible. You know how it has the little... Sorry, that was my phone. But you guys know how it has the little uh, charging animation. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find my charger. Ah, got one. So I got like five chargers laying around and I just can't find one. So if I plug this in, you guys notice that a little light will pop up eventually. And that lets me know that it's, it's charging. When you plug the charger in on the Galaxy Nexus, you guys know that it doesn't like turn on. But now when you plug it in with this mod, of course, it lets you know it's charging. Um, if it's um, if it's in red, then it's really dying. If it's in yellow, it's up to 90%, and 90% and above, it's uh, green. Of course, it's not going to show up because I have a notification, so let me clear that out. Now when I plug it in, sorry about that. Now, see, now when I plug it in, it's a yellowish kind of color. Alright, so let's move on. That's one of the new features I found. So that was under LED. Under sound, this is where you can have your volume panel and stuff like that. So when you turn your phone over, you can have custom uh, settings. Um, t the volume panel is this, by the way. When you hit the little settings, all of them pop up. This is where you can turn on your weather. Metric units is Celsius, by the way. That's why I have it unchecked. Your refresh interval and the weather style. You see, see I have mine above the carrier text because I think it looks more simple. But if you wanted to, you can have your weather panel. It just takes up a lot more space. I mean, it does look a little bit better, but I like to just have it above the text because it's more simple. Vibrations is a new feature. I'm not really sure if anyone's going to use this. I haven't, but I mean, if you do, it's a pretty cool feature. So let's just go to new and record it. All you have to do is tap. So say you have that favorite song, like, I don't know. Um, but you can tap, and when you get a call or something, it'll vibrate to that. And I'm just going to stop. That way it's not too long. And I'm going to play it. Not sure why it's not playing. Let's try recording a new one. So let's go stop. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it was a really loud vibration on my desk. And of course, you still have your performance options, which you can overclock to 1800 megahertz. I kind of noticed a few sluggish slowdowns on this ROM. I don't know if I'm the only one, but. This ROM gets to where you have to reboot, and then it gets stuck sometimes to where it keeps rebooting. Which, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I've been having a lot of problems with this ROM. But, I mean, nothing that a reboot doesn't fix. And, of course, you still have your theme chooser. I'm using Google A Bean. It was for, formerly a Google Bean in the Android market, or Play Store, or whichever one you call it. But it got removed somehow, and and so he just added this and changed the name, so it's Goog Labine. Put that up there for you to see it. Um, it's a dollar ninety nine for the paid version, which I recommend getting the paid version because it's pretty awesome. And on the device specific options, of course, you have color multipliers tuning, color gamma tuning, and vibrate. This is just for the Galaxy Nexus. I don't really mess with stuff like that, but you kind of notice that lag when I try to scroll. Or maybe it's just me. Um, 
not really anything different under here under display not much different so I mean it's the same as their stock build of uh, AOKP Jelly Bean build one with a few minor tweaks which are really recommended but that's pretty much it for my review guys um, let me show you guys the Nexus 7 As you guys see it's pretty much the same exact ROM so not really gonna go into too much detail for this let's just jump right into settings though you see doesn't blind you without bright it just got Let's try to focus a little bit let's go to ROM control on this you see you still have this all the same options you don't have like the vibrating thing on this though I don't think this tablet actually vibrates at all though but as you see we go to about tablet it's just AOKP grouper JB build 2 oh, I didn't show you guys the wallpapers either so let's go to wallpapers and let's go to swag papers I guess I gotta turn my tablet like this sorry for that being out of focus right there um, here are just a few of the wallpapers I'm not really sure how many pages there is my internet's been in and out all day long so it is gonna be relatively slow Sorry, you guys can't see the bottom one, but here's the next page five, six, seven, eight. So, wow, there's a lot of wallpapers. Sorry for my internet being sucky and not being able to show you guys all the wallpapers, but so this was basically my review of AOKP Jelly Bean Build 2 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus, and of course, the Nexus 7. Um, I'm going to be doing another ROM review soon. If you guys have a ROM that you want me to review, just leave a link, or I mean a uh, comment below of what ROM you want me to look at, or any type of app or anything. Um, feel free to ask me questions. If this video helped you out, make sure to like it. And I'll of course show you guys the boot animation, because actually the boot animation still hasn't changed from AOKP. I'm going to say Milestone 6 from the ICS versions. It's still the same unicorn like wallpaper. So, um, I've been getting a few requests for me to do a theming video, like how I theme my phone. Which, of course, I'm using Armando's theme. You guys probably know him because he has really awesome themes. But that's a theme that I'm using right now, as you see the home screens. But. That's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna leave you guys with the AOKP boot animations. I would show it on my Nexus 7, but it's the same. So it does take a minute to boot up. I'm not sure when they're gonna change their boot animation though. I hope it's pretty soon. But anyways guys. Make sure to like this video if it helped you at all. And also make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be giving away a prize pretty soon for reaching 100 subscribers. It's probably going to be a cruiser light case like this one or this one because cruiser light makes awesome cases. So here we are booted back up into the ROM. Took about a minute. But anyways, that was my full review of AOKP Jelly Bean Build 2 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus.